Hey guys, it's uh, John here. Just with a tutorial on uh, how to repair an iPhone 4 uh, ear speaker. Okay, this is the speaker that pretty much uh, you listen through. Not, Don't confuse it with the bottom speaker, which is used for speakerphone and stuff like that. So this is the speaker located at the top. Okay, this area here where you listen. And... Um, it's a pretty simple fix. You just need to be patient. So all parts can be put, uh, purchased from portabledeviceparts.com and I'll guide you through. So the first thing is, uh, the tools that you do need is just the standard uh, screwdriver, Phillips said, separation tool, and a pentalobe screwdriver. And this is for the iPhone 4, not 4S. Remember, it's a 4. Okay, so if you're not sure, you just look on the back and then you can see there's an A number there. You can't see it now from the reflection and you'll be able to identify um, what it is. Now all parts on the website actually do come with toolkits so uh, rest assured you'll have everything. So the first thing is uh, we need to take off the, the rear cover. Pretty simple. You might have seen this on other videos. So we just... Um, it's very hard with the whole camera in my way, so bear with me, guys, if I do look like uh, things are a bit tricky. Okay, now with the screws, you just put them in a place that you can remember. I mean, um, if you really want, what you can do is go on Google and Google screw mats and type in iPhone 4 screw mat and just go to Google, Google Images print it off and it'll have like a little mat where you can print it off and then just stick your screws in the right place. So now those screws are off, okay, we take the back off. So it just slide up and we take the back off like so. And here we have the inside of the iPhone. Now, uh, it's a pretty simple task. Uh, you just need to be patient. So the next step is uh, the screws at the top. Now you might not be able to see them too good. By all means zoom in if you want. You'll see that there's screws up here. So we're going to be doing uh, the screw here, the screw here. There's a little screw there, okay, and uh, a screw there and a screw there. Okay, so um, actually this screw here, this it, it's almost like there's a screw on top of another screw. So you take one off and then you have to take another one underneath. But we'll get to that. That's fine. So I'll just take these out now. Now use the Phillips head. A magnetic one is probably the best way to go. But look, whatever's, whatever you're comfortable with doesn't really matter. Um, I've already taken that screw off, so don't worry about that. Okay, a screw there. This is a pretty simple fix. I mean, everything seems a bit complex uh, at the start, but I mean, just take your time with it. Once you take your time, you'll see that uh, anybody can do it. And I, I've had a lot of customers call me up saying, you know, they were surprised how simple it was. Um, okay, so... First thing you all you also want to take the uh, the batteries as well out. I mean, I do have a tendency not to sometimes do that, but but I mean, look, you know, it's electricity. You don't want to short anything out, so you take this part off, and then you there's a little like a bracket I call it, uh, and then this is going to be tricky here. You know, I've taken the battery off before on this this phone. But you'll see it's very sticky, and you might get worried that, oh, no, I might actually um, uh, damage the phone. But it's just stuck, so I usually get the actual separating tool in there, lift it up. And there we go. We got the battery out. Put it aside somewhere away from, from your actual workbench. And always keep your workbench clean, because um, you won't lose screws and stuff like that. Uh, now... 
back to what we were doing. I'll just bring the light across here a bit more so we can see. Uh, now, um, we've taken the, the screws up at the top there off. Now, it's, this is a tricky one. What I mean tricky is that it's very strange in the fact that it's a screw on top of another screw. So, we take the small screw out. And I'll just do that now. Phillips head. Okay, and as you can see, I'll remove, remove this cover now. Okay. When I remove the cover, I'll show you what I mean. And this cover just comes off fairly easily. There's a there's a few teeth in the in here. So what I mean by teeth is is that oh, I'll try and get it to zoom, to focus. Sorry. There we go. Like up there, so you slide forwards like that. Then lift, take that off. Now, what you're going to see is pretty strange, but uh, you're going to see three cable connectors and one main, two of the main. These two main ones connect to the LCD screen, so when you change the LCD screen, you take them up. Okay, now these just connect to the logic board. Uh, so what we do is, I, I prefer to, to just take all, un undo all the actual cable connectors. So you go one, and you go two. And you go three, and sorry, this one. One moment. Whoops. Okay, we we lift this one up, and we lift this one up. I mean, certain people have certain orders for stuff. I'm not pedantic like that, so we just lift this off, this one off, and these three down. It's pretty simple like that. Okay, now. Okay, now for the part uh, of taking some more screws out. So we take out the motor connector. This thing, uh, I call it the motor connector, but I mean it's uh, just a vibrating earpiece. Um, and you can fast forward if you guys if you've done this before. I mean, this is the actual little motor thing that I call it. Okay, so now that part's out, we're going to take the camera out, and that's got a little connector here, and I'll show you what we do. We just take off the connector. And that's what the camera's connected to. And we just pull it out like that, and that pulls out. Now... We're going to continue with more screws, unfortunately. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, there should be, um, I'll just show you, some more screws towards the center. What I mean the center is, is that you'll see this long thing here. This is your logic board, the main board. So we're going to take those, those screws out. Um, once again, they're pretty simple. Okay, so we just... Uh, Use a Phillips. Oh. And we go one. And we do the second one. Pretty simple once again. And we do the third one. Wait on, before we do that, there's a little cover here. We'll take that off. It easily comes off. That's not an issue. Just don't forget to put it back on because it does need to. Everything needs to go back on. And we do this screw here. OK. 
Okay. You know, I am going pretty slow. Once you get the hang of this, and once you're pretty confident with it, you can really, really do this fairly quickly. So, you know, any of those that are aspiring to become repairers, you'll see that this is a very easy task. Don't be intimidated by the actual, the size of the screws and stuff like that. It's it's no different to anything else. They're fairly, you know, far apart when you do think about it. But, um, you know, people just tend to freak out a little when they see the size of the screws. Patience is a, you know, as they say, is a virtue. So uh, we'll just take off this little connector here. That's for your speaker. And now there's more screws. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so um, uh, the screws that we'll probably move on to is, is, is down here. It's pretty straightforward. You can see, like, things won't move until all the screws are taken out. So uh, we'll go towards the um, uh, the, the bottom, sorry, uh, the, the speakers. I just went a bit blank. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's one. And we take the second one off, which should be Whoops, I did a bit of a boo-boo. This has to come off. That's why things won't move. Okay. And that comes off easily once you, you pull that off. Now, uh, that's your speaker. Uh, your loudspeaker. So, um, I mean, obviously, these tend to do sometimes go. They're pretty cheap to actually buy. But, but I mean, you know, just clean it out. Because sometimes there's, there's a bit of, you know, crud and, and dust that, that actually get into there. Um... Now we move on to uh, the next part, which is obviously trying to get this uh, logic board out. Now, a big mistake that I did do before, which I should have told you at the start is, but I guess it's good as we go on to actually do it, because most people do forget it at the start, as, as you, you tend to be excited to try and fix it for the first time, um, is taking out your SIM card. The motherboard will not be... You'll, you'll try and lift it up, it just simply won't move because the SIM card's in there. So, uh, use your uh, SIM ejector tool or get, in my case, I've got a pin. Uh, you just push it open. We've all done this when we've registered our phones and, and whatnot. So, that's out there now. Check for any other screws that, that you may have missed. Okay, by right, there shouldn't be any except for this big one now. Now, this is this is probably one of the most important screws. Uh, as I said, there's a screw on top of a screw. So that's right here. Uh, right there. It's sort of a double screw. Now what you can do is is that you can use a a Phillips head or you can just get a normal um, flat head uh, screwdriver. Don't try and find the smallest because it doesn't have to be the smallest. But once again, most of the places that you do buy these from do provide these uh, these tools, especially portable device uh, parts. dot com. Now uh, we put that. Just put the two screws on top of each other that that you know you took out together there. Now this is the the easy part. This is easy because I've done it before so it easily slides out but what you might have to do is just jiggle around here and 
don't worry that you're not going to break it. You'll see as long as this part comes up, and as long as you don't see any screws, you're fine. There we go, that comes up. And look what we have here. We have right here the uh, the ear speaker. Okay, so this is a spare one that I have lying around. Okay, they come in packs like this. They should be protected um, with, with toolkits. They look exactly the same. Now, this is your most important part that you have to remember. Look here. Turn the iPhone up ways. So the top's pointing, you know, in your north. Okay, now you will see one thing. See these two little wires? They need to be pointing up like that. Okay? Generally, you'll have text on, on that. So uh, the text should be readable. It shouldn't be upside down. Um, you know, just, just get that right, and you should be fine from, from here on. Now, it's very easy to take out. There's glue. Be aware there is glue. And you might have to just jimmy it a bit. Um, I think this one, because it's fresh, I this is a new one I just put on. Uh, oh, that one came off fairly easy. And there we go, that comes up. And when you put it down, just get tweezers. And just be patient. Once again, be patient. You're in no hurry to do this. And just reset it like that. You know, it might feel, oh, no, it's going to move. But there's there's adhesive on the other side so of the new one that you're going to get. So just push it in, and you're good to go. And now what you do is you do everything in reverse. And it's pretty straightforward. I mean, um, just, you know, if, if you're really struggling... Just put this video on reverse and, and, and you'll see how it gets done. Uh, you know, you've done the hardest part now. Remember that. You know, now is the easy part. Be patient. Make sure, you know, all the screws, screws go in the right place. And, uh, you know, look around. Make sure you haven't forgot anything. I mean, it's so, you know, tempting to just put everything together and, and close the back. But um, just check, you know, do a, do a, a thorough you know, overview of... Um, of what's missing so any questions or you know in regards to the fix or you do need help send me a message through youtube send me a message through the website you know i'm here to help you guys so um you know that that's the most important thing so so drop me a message and i'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you're not sure of uh this is john and thank you for watching this tutorial